and you're watching another MotionTutor.com video lesson. This lesson is about number bonds and how you use them and what they're all about. Anyway, always remember to check MotionTutor.com for any learning games and activities relating to these video lessons. Alright, so let's get to this lesson. Okay, number bonds. Number bonds usually look like this, where usually you have a big circle and you have two little circles connecting to it. Um, they sometimes will look like this. Sometimes they look like this. Sometimes they look like this. Again. We have a big circle and little circles connected to them. Sometimes they will look like squares. And again, they'll be in the same kind of orientation, but instead of circle, they're squares. So you have this bigger square and it's being connected to by smaller squares. So what is this going on? What's going on here? What's what's these bigger and smaller squares and circles? Okay, let me just show you an example. So number bonds help us to see how numbers are put together. So for example, we have one, two, three, four. And this small box here and we have one, two, three in this small box down here. And if you look how they are connected, you'd see that they, they lead into this bigger box. So this is what's going on. So as we're moving these balls you can see how they're coming together. They're coming together. And they come together into this bigger one to give us a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four up here and three down here gives us seven. You wanna see that again? We can we can show you that again. So remember here's four, here is three, and then now the three comes in here, the four comes also in here, and we'll see a total of seven. So number bonds help, help us see how this bigger number is made up of smaller numbers. All right, let's go into another example. So in this case, we're using numbers. So we have four and three. Instead of the balls, we're using numbers. It's the same thing again. So the four and the three, they'll be combining together. And we'll see what happens. As the four and the three, they work their way over to the bigger box. And they're combining together. We see that they become seven. So, four and the three together is seven. We will look at that one more time. Get the four back over there. So, four, three, and these guys coming together into the bigger box. And we'll see that they become seven. 
4 and 3 is equal to 7. Okay. So here's a circular number bond. All right, so we have 3 over here and we have 2 over here. And so as we saw in the other example, they come together. And together they equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They equal 5. Now, looking at these, guess what? We could even switch them around. We could have 2 over here and 3 over here. Would they still equal 5 down here? Let's take a look. Bring the two, bring the three, and look, we still have five. One, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't even matter when we're putting together, it doesn't matter what number is over here, what number is over here, and if we switch them around, it doesn't matter, it's still will equal to the same number when we put them together down here. All right, final example. Now this one, we can make up our own number bonds with this. So, mm, so here's a empty number bond. And I will Let's say I get three up here. And five down here. How much would it be in here? How much do you think? We have three up here, and we have five down here. Well, let's take a look at it. One, two, three, here's the three. And here's the five I'm going to put down here. So how much do we have in here? We can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So the three put together with the five is 8. Let's see. Eh, this time I'll do a square bond. Okay. This time I'll be writing numbers. So if there is a 2 and a 1, so we know this 1 and this 2 combined together is 3. And I can show you, because if you have one here, and we have two over here, we see that this one is down here, 
And then these two goes down here. And we see we have three balls down here. One, two, three. So that's all for number bonds. Now I'll do one more example. I will do one more example. Um, this time with the balls. We have four over here. And five over here. So we have one, two, three, four, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's. All right, I'm going to do this over again. We're going to do this over again. Okay. So here's another example. All right, I will get the balls in here and then start copying them over. So let's see, we have. Four, and then over here we have five. So we have one, two, three, four in this side, and we have one, two, three, four, five in this side. How much would it be together in here? Well, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a total of nine. So the four that was here and the five that was here together is nine. So that is all for number bonds. Thank you for watching another MotionTutor.com video lesson. And remember to check out MotionTutor.com for learning games and activities relating to these video lessons. And also to be sure to like and subscribe to us so you can be one of the first to find out any new material that we create. Thank you.